Hey guys, it's Noelle from House of Huey and we want to tell you how we just redid our own deck with used Ipe wood. We got a quote to do it for about $40,000 and we were able to accomplish it with just four. You heard me, four. We want to tell you about our process and how we got this done so you can do it yourself. So come along so you can see how we did it. So let's start with how we got these deck boards at a ridiculously low price. We found this guy on Facebook Marketplace. Now it was super shady, but in the end, we were able to score $20,000 of Brazilian Wanda ePay for a few grand. We spent the whole day in the snow hauling this material into a U-Haul truck. If you haven't watched that video yet, check it out here. The reason we knew that this material would work is because this is Ipe, which is known as ironwood. It's a very fine grained wood. It's also known as Brazilian walnut and it has um, not many splinters. It's very, very fine and it lasts for up to a hundred years. And this was installed previously at a country club and the way that it came already had this sort of gray patina. You don't have to finish it. Um, so we knew that would work and we just like the way this looked um, already sort of weathered and patinaed over time. So we're just going to leave it as it was um, and let it patina more and it should last our lifetimes. Now let's be honest, we had serious buyer's remorse after we brought this wood home. The reason why is we had to remove all the hidden fasteners that were in the boards, remove them manually with a hammer before we can even install them. So this easily double tripled the amount of labor and time that we had to spend working with this material. So remove old deck boards, prep the new ones, install them, do this about 250 times, and voila, a new deck. The first board from end to end has been removed. Ta-da! This is a big one. Wow. I just want to give her something to do. We really gotta finish it now. We've completed a 13 foot rip on the table saw with ironwood, which is not the funnest thing to do, but well, we did it. We trimmed off the groove side of this board because it's gonna be exposed and we didn't have any edge boards. So now we face nail this last guy. This is how we straighten a bowed board and try to get an early morning workout with it too. It's called a calf day. I need, I need to get my drill right there, okay. Yeah. Ready, set, go. Great. Nice. It's just a... Parkour, time. parkour. So you get the best calves. I feel like I should be doing that part. You do have stronger legs than me. I have much stronger legs. <laughs> comment down below who's got the better legs. You don't even need to comment. I get it. I get it. Right, is it in? Keep going, do another one. Yeah. Camo lock to the rescue, even in tight spaces. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Nice. nice job, Winona. The homeschool life here. There you go, good job. Joist tape, you need this stuff. Why? This protects your joist beams from rotting, decay. New deck boards, or should I say reclaimed deck boards. Old ones, and there's the queen. Let's take a look at some before and after so you can see the vast difference of this deck. Brown on brown. That's why we got to go light gray. I thought we were going to have a relaxing Saturday. Uh, no dice. So 
is our little sitting area. We enjoy it back here. We can kind of connect with the people in the hot tub. You can have a seat, hang out with your friends from here, from there. It's a chill time. We really wanted a hot tub to sit on our deck, but we didn't want to look at the sides of it. So we created this custom bench surround. We took the last of our reclaimed ipe. As you can see, this is kind of water damaged, uh, but we ripped them in half at, just to give it a different scale. And we created this bench surrounding our hot tub. So when you lift the cover off of here, you can sort of sit on the bench with your feet in the hot tub. It's, uh, it's pretty glorious. And we were able to use more reclaimed wood so it didn't cost us a penny. It was always a strange small area that we didn't know quite how to deal with and with the railing uh, it was just a little tight nobody wanted to be back here so opening this up and removing the railing and creating sort of a cascade where we have this bench that just opens it up to the hillside makes it feel like this expansive landscape and gives us just one more space for people to gather and kind of you know come through together to hang out right pepper pepper since yes she likes it the next stage of our outdoor oasis project is to add a railing onto this amazing deck. So as you can see, we've already started setting the posts. So follow along. Our upcoming videos will take you through the process of how we install the cable railing. Feel free to shoot us your questions. We want to know what you think about this project and our progress. We'd love to hear about your own renovation projects you're doing at your place. Or if you just have any thoughts or comments, feel free to leave them below.